Today we're working on question number four, intention. What do you need the other person to do or say? So I think intention is pretty important. It's really the cornerstone of acting and that's why I named my company Intentional Acting. Because what I've seen over and over again is that when an actor is clear about their intention, their body, their voice, their face, everything, everything knows what to do because they're clear on what they want, they're clear on what they're going after and what they're doing, and the body will follow. Okay? And acting is doing, so that intention has to be an action. So you might be familiar with it as an objective, a goal, a purpose. You're going to think of it as a verb, what's to want, to need, to convince, to cajole, to tease, to, to seduce. Those are all verbs. Those are doing. That's something that you do, right? So let's try that. I want ice cream. Okay? But let's change the verbiage to what intentional acting says in question number four, what do I need the other person to do or say? So I would change it to, I need you to give me your ice cream. Did you feel that? It, to me, I did, because as an actor, I see you, I see the ice cream, and I feel this need to get it from you. It gives me something to do. Acting is doing. I say that over again, because that's really important that you understand that acting should always be something to do. It gives you something physical and visceral to fight for, to go after, to do, okay? Another example is to seduce. I see this all the time on scripts and I see they've written down their verb for the scene, which is to seduce. To seduce, really it's very an intellectual idea. It's something, it's kind of a, it's something that we picture in our mind, but it's not actually what we do because when you're seducing something, you're doing something. What is it? For example, I want you to kiss me. Again, I see you. It makes me feel something and it makes me have a goal of something that I want to do or get you to do with me. It creates connection. So question number four, what do I need the other person to do or say? Take that action, take that verb, that want or need, and turn it into what do I need the other person to do or say? Try that. Comment below and let us know how it works for you.